tonight a dirty dining first it's a fast food chain with a cult following at least a cult like following yeah. and a good track record when it comes to cleanliness well until now tonight one location with an issue so serious they were ordered shut plus an employee at crafty crab in lauder hill that wants to fight here's investigator jeff weins here with tonight's dirty dining report congratulations you guys are the first to First Chick-fil-A to make the dirty dining list. Yeah, could, could, could we talk about that? Sure. We are at the Chick-fil-A in North Miami Beach, 820 Northeast 167th Street to be exact. This is a relatively new location. Last week an inspector was here based on a complaint found 30 violations in order to place shut. Flies, roaches, objectionable odors, cleanliness yeah. issues. All of that. Not was, what we expect from a... All of that was, was resolved. We'll contact you guys as, as soon as our PR team is ready. Among the violations, roaches spotted crawling on walls in several spots. Flies found all over the place from the kitchen to the front counter. Food contact surfaces were not properly sanitized. According to records, the inspector was back the next day. Many of the violations still existed. They were not allowed to reopen after that first initial reinspection. He never called. Neither did Chick-fil-A PR even after we reached out to them. We moved to Lauder Hill, also ordered shut last week, this crafty crab at 4202 North University Drive. 32 violations were found inside. An employee headed to the kitchen to get the manager, and this man emerged. I want to talk to somebody about the inspection. Well, I'm a felon, so you can't report me. You're a felon, so I can't record you? <laughs> hey, do me a favor, what, 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 what rule, where, Where's that rule come in? Do me a favor, get out of my face with that camera. I'm not in your face. Among the violations here last week, quote, 30 or more live roaches coming from walls behind ovens where corn and potatoes are cooked. Roach droppings spotted throughout the storage area. 25 to 50 dead roaches throughout the kitchen. The dish machine, can opener, slicer head, soda nozzles had mold-like buildup. When we were leaving, the front door kept opening. We were asked if we wanted to fight and then the middle finger. This is the person Crafty Crab wants representing them? Hey, grow up, man. Grow up. Our final stop, Galoopies on the Green. It's on the grounds of the Pompano Air Park, the address 1103 North Federal Highway. It is in Pompano Beach. An inspector was also here last week based on a complaint. Because it was based on a complaint, they had to shut us down. No, that's not how it works. You see, the inspector found 23 violations here. There was a roach, a fly, and an ant issue. You're more than welcome to tour the restaurant, front, back, coolers. Restaurants never been cleaner. This place also ordered shut last month as well. Also among last week's violations, sausage links with mold-like growth. A stop sale ordered on brisket and prime rib. They were out of temperature. Raw chicken was thawing at room temperature on a table. Raw shrimp thawing in standing water. Chicken being thawed at room temperature. Shrimp being thawed at room temperature, that could be... We, we had the delivery that day. Um, you know, we've now since changed our delivery times. And remember that offer to tour the place? Well... Probably best if we schedule time to come, in, come back. Okay. So we couldn't now. All the places we just mentioned were allowed to reopen following an ordered cleanup and then a reinspection. Jeff Weinseer, Local 10 News. Okay,